welcome to the Ignited Labs Online. In this tech tour, we'll be learning about AI, IoT, and Google's AIY Vision Kit. So first things first, what is the AIY Vision Kit? The Vision Kit is a build-it-yourself intelligent camera that can see and recognize objects using machine learning. This intelligent camera is made of cardboard, some tech peripherals like a camera and a push button, and a Raspberry Pi. What can this kit do? Once assembled, the Vision Kit comes with a few pre-programmed examples. One of these is a program that does two things. One, recognize a face, and two, determine if the face is happy or sad. You can see here that once the camera recognizes a face, the button at the top starts to turn yellow or blue, depending on the expression. In this photo, you can see the rectangle surrounding the identified face and a number between 0 and 1. The higher the number, the happier the face. Conversely, the lower the number, the sadder the face. Additionally, this kit has a program that can categorize objects. As is, it isn't very successful. But you can see here the kit's thought process as it decides what to categorize an object as. If you are more tech inclined, this would be an opportunity to improve the recognition by training the model with more images of objects. Google provides resources on how to do this at this link. So how does the AIY Vision Kit fit into the world of AI? AI, or artificial intelligence, is a branch of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. Consider the AIY Vision Kit. Google taught the computer to recognize a face and whether that face is making a happy or sad expression. Recognizing things is typically thought of as a human or sentient ability, but now a computer can recognize a human face. Unlike human intelligence, the Vision Kit does not know nuance, can't tell if you're actually sad or happy. Other examples of artificial intelligence are iPhone Face ID, deep fakes, smart assistants like Siri, Cortana, and Alexa, and self-driving cars. Check out this project by Chad Hart on Cognit.ai to learn more about using the Vision Kit for animal recognition. Hart outlines the process of training the Vision Kit using images of cats, including his, in order to create an intelligent camera that can recognize if his cats are on his kitchen counter. A small caveat on AI. Even though a computer is the one learning, humans are the ones teaching it. This means that smart machines are beholden to the biases, intentional or unintentional, of the people training it. This could be something concerning, like a chatbot parroting racist ideologies, or something as deadly as an autonomous vehicle hitting a jaywalker it failed to recognize as a pedestrian. Now how does the AIY Vision Kit fit into the world of IoT? IoT stands for Internet of Things, and is a system of interrelated computing devices that are provided with unique identifiers and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human-to-human -human or human-to-computer interaction. In other words, IoT just means a bunch of machines that can speak with each other over the internet without the need for human intervention. Let's look at an example that involves AI and IoT. Say you have a smart assistant and a smart light bulb, both of which are connected to the internet and you want to turn on the lights without touching the light switch. So you tell your smart assistant to turn on the light. Your smart assistant processes the words you said and, if it understands, will send the turn on signal to the light bulb via the internet. The light bulb gets the signal and turns on. If you're interested, you can check out this project by Kevin Hester on Hackster.io. They trained their AIY vision kit to recognize hummingbirds. When the camera sees a hummingbird, it snaps a picture and then posts it to the Twitter account Hummingbot1, all without human intervention. This concludes our tour on the AIY Vision Kit by Google. Here are the links for the images and projects I reference in this video. Check out our channel to find tours on 3D printing, Sphero, Lego Mindstorms, and more. Like and subscribe to be the first to know about new tech tour videos and future Tech This Out videos. See you next time!